This week, the Michigan Secretary of State announced more than 2.7 million voters have requested absentee ballots for the November 3rd election. That's up 145 percent from the 2016 presidential race, but it comes at a time when mistrust over mail-in voting is at an all-time high. So in tonight's Rebound Detroit, 7 Action News reporter Amir David put the postal service to the test in an experiment you'll see only on 7. Amira. Carolyn, Dave, is the Postal Service still experiencing those huge delays? How long might it really take to get a ballot from point A to point B? I took 25 pieces of mail and went to work to find out. A pandemic, an election, and an unprecedented demand for absentee ballots. We're on pace to probably end up at about 3 million uh, before election day. This is a year unlike any other. Probably not safe enough with the mail. I don't know what's going on with the U.S. mail system. It's a shame. Metro Detroiters still working to rebuild trust in the Postal Service after a summer riddled with major delays. Much of the changes that caused initial disruptions were reversed, but some voters, like Pontiac's Curtis Wellhausen, tell me their confidence has already been shook. Knowing how delayed everything is, I don't want my vote being in any way missing or lost. We wanted to know, at a time when more people are voting absentee than ever before, is that a warranted worry? How long does it really take for mail to work its way through the system? To find out, an experiment of sorts. I sent out 25 pieces of mail with the standard postage. Point A was various cities and zip codes throughout Oakland, Wayne, and Macomb counties, and point B was our news station. Choosing locations based on areas where you told us you had seen delays. Today, we're going to those problem spots one by one, starting right here in Sterling Heights. After all, skepticism here heightened. After 165 absentee ballots for the August 4th primary arrived in the mail six days late and were never counted. Elsewhere in Macomb County, we stopped in Warren, East Point, Roseville, and St. Clair Shores. Okay, first stop in Wayne County is in the city of Detroit at a post box I found right on the corner of Broadway and Gratiot. We also mailed out from Down River, Livonia, even a post box in a Dearborn gas station. Remember Curtis? Well, he lives in Pontiac, another trouble spot. So we gave him a letter to send from his own mailbox, then continued in Oakland County to Madison Heights, Birmingham, Ferndale, and Southfield. All right, all 25 have been sent. Now we wait. But it turns out we didn't have to wait all that long because every single piece of mail we sent out made it back to us within three business days with absolutely no hiccups. That absolutely gives me confidence in our postal system. Sterling Heights clerk Melanie Riska encouraged and feeling certain that the problem causing the previous absentee snafu has been fixed. That was an anomaly. We talked with the postmaster at our local Sterling Heights post office and we were ensured that that would not happen in the future. While a three-day turnaround for standard mail is plenty good, the Michigan Department of State points out that it could go even quicker because of redesigned ballot envelopes. All ballots are marked election mail. That officials say is expected to move them through the system as priority mail with top efficiency. But what do Metro Detroiters think? I went back out to ask if our experiment results gave them any more confidence to trust their vote to the mail. It honestly does not. However, is it something about going in person knowing that my vote is done? I choose to take it to City Hall to make sure. But ultimately, voters should choose what they are most comfortable with. Your ballot will be counted no matter what. All right, now if you plan to mail your ballot, you're going to want to put it in a post box two weeks before Election Day. So that's October 19th. You want to make sure you leave a little room for error. As an alternative, you can always drop it off at one of these drop boxes. Now these are all over your area. It goes direct to your clerk and they count them on a daily basis. I actually have my absentee ballot filled out and so I'm going to go ahead and cast my ballot right now 
and just like that, I am done. I just voted live on air. Now, I just want to remind you, either of these options, whether you put it in the mailbox or you put it in a drop box, are efficient, are effective, and you can rest assured that your vote will be counted. Carolyn, Dave? All you need, Amira, is a little sticker that says I voted. Anyway, let me ask you this, Amira. Is there any way to follow I, up and make sure? I've got that. I'll have to put it on. <laughs> okay, there you go. Is there any way to make sure your ballot was picked up, Amira? Yeah, I'm so glad you asked that because I'll be using this myself. There is a tool called michigan.gov slash vote where you can actually track to make sure your ballot was both received and counted. michigan.gov slash vote. It's an excellent resource that's going to give you all the confidence you need this election year. Reporting for The Rebound, Amira David, 7 Action News. Now, one more important addition for the vote counting. Amira, thank you for the live report. Much more on our website, wxyz.com slash vote. Read all about voting absentee or on election day. All right. Now that